Hi, I'm Charles Luton Brain, and we're here at the Alberta College of Art and Design in Calgary, Canada. And this segment is going to be about step rolling, that is taper rolling a rod or a wire so that it gets narrower and longer as we go. This can take the place of several hours of forging with a hammer, and uh, I knew an American uh, silversmith, a uh, rather famous guy named Ronald Hayes Pearson, and uh, I remember visiting his shop, and he did forged silver jewelry, and he used the rolling mill in exactly this way to take the place of hours of work, and his work looked like it was all hand done. So, this is about step rolling. And for step rolling, we're going to use this tool. This is a rolling mill, and it has um, a sheet portion, and it has a wire portion down the bottom, in this case. And the wire portion, uh, you can set the gap between the two rollers by using this wheel. Usually we use the gap fully closed up, but sometimes we will open and close it in between steps in order to have a smoother taper. So I'm just going to finish that, close that up, and uh, put some safety glasses on. Always a good idea in a workshop. And at this point we'll take some metal. I've got a rod here. It's uh, bronze in this case. It could be anything. And I'm going to set this needle here at the back, which will let me know which hole I was last in. I'm going to, uh, on this one, I'm going to begin with a fairly large uh, hole. I'm now going to insert the rod into the rollers, and then 90 degrees in the same hole. Move that over, and we move to the next hole down. And I roll forwards and back, and 90 degrees in the same hole. And then we move it to the next one down. And here is an example of where I have to reset this because it's too big a jump in one go. There we go. And same hole again, only each time not quite as far. Next hole down, see if we can do this without resetting it. No, I'm going to have to just take each groove one by one. And each time, 90 degrees through the same hole. And then we move it to the next one down. Next one down. Of that so we can remember where we are. And there we go. We have our tapered rod. And let's just tidy that up a little bit. And so we can see that we have a tapered rod. It's getting narrower and narrower towards the end. And I could continue until it was finely tapered. If I wanted to turn this into something that looked handmade, I would now take a planishing hammer and strike on the corners of this and make it rounded. And that's all there is to step rolling wire. It's that easy.